Rick Rhodes from Fine Art Connoisseur. Today, we're interviewing David Mason from McConnell Mason in London. Um, our gallery was established in 1893, and I'm a fourth generation member uh, working with my father uh, presently. And we are known for 19th century and 20th century European paintings, particularly post-impressionist, modern British paintings, uh, Dutch romantic paintings, uh, English sporting paintings, and marine paintings. So we're quite versatile and varied in what we deal with, as well as pre-Raphaelite paintings. Well, I'm personally and passionately um, interested in uh, paintings of all periods, from old masters to modern. And it's really based on uh, excellence and quality. Um, one of my favourite paintings is The Triumph of Surrealism by Max Ernst, which hasn't anything to do with uh, what the gallery deals with, uh, but many paintings that uh, 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 capture imagination for whichever reason it happens to be is a very personal thing, and much of what we deal with I'm very passionate about and quite often uh, would like to keep in my private collection, but of course we're dealers and uh, we sell paintings, so that isn't always possible. In the world of art today, I think uh, somebody who really stands out is Norman Rosenthal, who's recently become so Northern Norman Rosenthal at the Royal Academy in London, and I think that he's been very innovative in the exhibitions that he's produced and continues to produce, and I think that um, it's uh, really benefiting the art world um, generally in London, uh, where he's based. Well, the feeling of the American art market at present is uh, that it is strong, and uh, we've had a number of record years. Um, uh, our last uh, year was uh, the strongest year we'd ever had and we're here at the International Fine Art and Antique Fair in Palm Beach in uh, this is 2008 and we're having a strong year as we've ever had so I think the art market in, here in America is really very strong it's based on quality and paintings especially are uh, very much a currency um, in today's world and uh, being that uh, they're, they're mobile and portable, they're, um, uh, they, they work um, uh, positively in a, an inflationary environment. They're, they're a very good hedge against uh, uh, depreciation, depreciative assets. Well, my proudest moment in the art world, uh, in, I'd, I'd have to say, is uh, working with my father, who's also David Mason, and um, he is uh, a doyen of the art world and has accomplished incredible things, uh, putting together uh, collections for uh, 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 people such as Lord Lloyd Webber, Andrew Lloyd Webber, and uh, that culminated in a, uh, an exhibition of Lord Lloyd Webber's collection at the Royal Academy in London, and um, one of my proudest moments was uh, being with my father at the opening of that exhibition back in, uh, I think it's uh, about three or four years ago now. In today's uh, financial um, environment, um, where uh, the turbulence in the stock market and uh, the uh, housing market, particularly the subprime market, um, has um, become so um, uncertain. Uh, the art world has actually um, developed a trend of going against the grain, as it were, and as a currency in its own right, has um, forged uh, a, a very special position in the international uh, financial world in many senses. People should always collect paintings because they love them and works of art because they love them and jewellery and so on because they love them. And in today's world 
um, of uncertainty in the financial markets. The art market has proved to be a safe haven. And uh, so whereas um, various other markets are under pressure, the art market is also under pressure, but in terms not so much of turnover, where our turnover is increasing, but certainly in terms of in terms of margin, it's become a very safe haven for people to invest their money in, as well as uh, uh, work jointly with their enjoyment. So I think it's um, a very positive aspect of the art market today.